Hey guys, Susanna here. I thought I'd um, come on again and continue on with these little, well they're full of all the time, um, with my little uh, coasters. Um, this is the one that I finished doing hand stitching. Um, I've been really busy because I've been cleaning and as you can see on the last video, I found some stuff to put on Etsy. Um, but I thought I'd better come on and um, show you what I've, I've done with this and I'll even show you this is my uh, quilts so I might um, show you some of that actually I might show you that now if you can see it put it all together done all the, the quilting along there I'm just doing the last bit here I've got these buttons that I want to sew on the end bit so that's what it's look like so far I'll probably take a um, just take you into the lounge room when it's hanging on the wall and show you that as well as my um, where are we? there we go um, baubles that were hanging up so I'm going to be having this color on the edge as the binding so it'll, so it'll be a bit like that which will because that's the same fabric as that and that is separate in that greeny color greeny bluey color so I'm really close to finishing I've done all the quilting um, and all the stitching so look I'll show you here's the stitching for that one stitching for that one and I've done the quilting all the way around there okay here's the stitching for that one and then this little guy and my little mice and I think you may have seen that one on here I'm still just finishing on the outside and then I'll do the binding and then sew the buttons on and then I'm done so yay for me I'm glad this is um, finished soon very soon <laughs> so um, unlike a lot of people they say oh, I can sit there in front of the TV and do stuff but because I need my readers I can't have the readers and my glasses and look up and down so I, I have to not watch TV while I'm doing it so anyway well we'll continue on with this and so this is the one that I've actually hand stitched so I did the hand stitching and stitched that down and then this is what I did like that one I stitched um, I showed you a bit of a different colorway. So, um, and then on this one, I did all like put the button and everything on beforehand before I put the backing on, which I think I will do on this one. And this one, I put the button and did that and did that after. So, I think it looks better when it's covered and all you've got is this. This is sort of the stitching that's holding it down. So, I'll just quickly show you what I did for this one. So I might, it's pretty sticky, so it'll hold down onto that piece, the fluffy piece. Where's it? Yeah, this is the fluffiness. I'm gonna go on there like that. I might just pin it down so it doesn't move on me. Um, while I'm doing this stitching actually I'll do it that way should be alright and this way so my husband seems to he likes to look at that one but it's being hand stitched on um, and these are what all these buttons are for so even though this is a coaster and I wasn't I was umming and ahhing whether I would have um, a button there but because it's you know on the bottom you can it's a fairly big coaster so the cup will go there um, so I thought yep I can still stick the button on now which is the one I'm gonna be having on that one I quite like that just got all these little brown buttons here so much stuff laying everywhere so I need to put this this together <laughs> and these are all, all the buttons for the quilt okay so what I'm going to do 
Yeah, I do like that one. Um, is I will what I'm going to do is stitch down here and now that's sort of like you know where you step down onto and then this is the um, um, you know where you hang I don't know what that is just for the tow bar whatever it is I've got I've done it in pencil and I've done it a little bit too much on there Oop. <laughs> oh that's funny So what we, this is the way you do stuff in pencil. So what I'm going to do is we are doing a, um, what stitch is this? A stem stitch, that's the one, because it's nice and thick, just to stitch it into place. So this is like the little step that you um, come down onto. And I think I might put that around that way. There we go. Do it the opposite way when you go around the corner. And I think I've got a little bit of pencil on there as well to get rid of that okay so um, I did most of it by machine which like I said it eliminates it eliminates this step if you sew that down you've got all the stitching so I've had to um, you know I, I slip slip stitch this and then I had to do stitching over the top. So when you actually stitch it down on the machine, um, it, it eliminates one step. Love the colour in this one, it's really cool. So um, I'm just showing you how I am making the, co the uh, coasters, but um, I'm going to make these as some presents for some friends. For Christmas um, and they'll get their own little coaster and placemat because um, I know that they've got a caravan so they can put it in their little caravan um, and then they've got a little daughter she's sort of like my adopted granddaughter um, bought, what did I a little daughter a little so she they she loves being a little girl she loves Elsa and um what's her name frozen girls anyway and got that to match it but this i like this because it had um olaf and hans and you know all that kind of stuff in there so it wasn't just the girls so mum and dad will be getting one of these and she will be getting a little a little frozen thing which is cute and they've just announced that she's pregnant again which is great because they were really trying in it and um they're gonna have another baby which is so exciting i don't remember what that was like it took so long for me to get pregnant with my first okay well that's a little um the step now here is the toe bar but I'll just do this while I'm yapping to you guys um, so cute so remember in the first video that I did off this um, is the um, pattern that you can get I've connected the um, Lisa pays pay it forward and she made it really cute um, quilt with one of the pattern for this and the one I got was actually from a book that I got so um, I just used that 
but then I also printed off the one from Lisa as well. Is it going to go up? Yeah, it does go up a little bit because when I did the rubbing out, I rubbed it out. So, so there's only a little bit of hand stitching when you sew it on by the machine, which stem stitch is so quick as you can see, does not take that long. And then we are going to do a bullion stitch for the handle, which is pretty cool. Okay. okay. I mean, it is a lot bigger than this and it doesn't really come out there, but you know, poetic, not poetic, um, artistic license there we go now what we're going to do one two three four just a french knot okay so that's the little toe bar thingy okay knot that off and these are the biggest scissors you could possibly find. Here we go. <laughs> Here's my embroidery scissors. Now, here we go. I need to do the door. Oh, I forgot to turn it down my volume. I am sorry, guys, hearing that ping. That would have been really loud. Um, I'm too far gone into the video to... Uh, to turn that off now okay here's the handle okay how you do a, a bullion stitch you go like that you come up through then you go down to how long you want the handle to be and then you come up next to it like that then we're gonna do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah i reckon it should be about that long push it up so this is a bullion knot it's great because it's like a little a long handle most caravans have got those long pressy handles rather than having a round one I was going to do a door that it had the original pattern had um, a window on there, but I don't really don't think it needs it. So that goes through there, and we tie that off. So all this sort of stuff being done beforehand is great because it's going to be sandwiched in between, and you won't see all these little knots and and whatnot. So okay, and then the last bit is going to be putting this on okay don't mind that color on there actually i might go there so we'll see I'm putting the button on, nothing too exciting, but and then I'll show you how you do put it all together. So I'll have to give it a bit of a pause and do sewing. Nearly ready to show you guys my studio. It should be good. I don't want it coming apart, so I do you want to have it stitched on maybe one more. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I love these, I think they're really cute. They would just make an awesome Christmas gift. Um, or a gift to someone that is into um, caravanning which a lot of people are I know quite a few people 
in my family that are into caravanning. I know my brother and sister-in-law would love these. They have not much left. Okay, so that's done. Now, what we're going to do is... Okay, so that's been put down. Now I might put my little... Uh, bring, this, bring this over. Still a mess. A mess, a mess, a mess. Put my arm iron on and give this an iron. But what I'm going to do in the meantime is you're going to put it together. Have I'll iron that, but you put the bat on top of there like this. Then we're going to be sewing, start here. So you would start crookedest thing you could possibly find, like there. Do a straight stitch. All the way around. And then stop about there. So you need a gap because you've got to turn it inside out. But I will pause it and I will be back. Okay, back again. Yep, it's on. Um, okay, well, as you can see, I thought I'll leave the iron on because I might even need to give it a bit of an iron flat. Um, I've sewn all the way around. And when you start, when you sew here, make sure that you do back and forward because it's got to be turned around. So I'm going to cut the corners makes it a little bit easier to turn it inside out it's not as um, thick so it's about a quarter of an inch that you sew it all the way around and just do a straight stitch we're going to be turning it inside out and I'll grab my little little thing so grab these and you turn it inside out. Oops, sorry. That's how to do it. Don't want to be poking it. Just to push it through. Never easy doing this part. But this saves you having to do binding around it if you do it this way because um, we just stitch and it stitches closed the um, the hole so you can't even see where the actual opening is on that one okay so I've got my plastic uh, knitting needle so it's not pointy you could probably do that with your these things as well because they're plastic and you don't want them to be poking a hole in your work. Okay. This is why you cut the corners so that you can make sure that it goes all the way to the corners now. And then all the work has been, you know, the, the stuff, you know, that we've done stitching. And see, so it automatically folds over both sides, there and there. So there's the join. And then we're going to iron it. Fold that over. Make sure that they really are poked right out. There we go. And you've got your little coaster, and you can use this technique with other patterns as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
um, sew completely around and just a straight stitch and that'll be enough to hold that down then I'm going to um, sew just a straight stitch all the way around really close to the edge I did it on that one and then you end up with this that's that's the quilting and that's that has got to hold the three layers together so it doesn't pull apart so I will be back okay well we are done that's that one done so and I've stitched around and I really like how that looks so that's been completely stitched around and looks rather adorable so um, I thought if you really are into the hand stitching that's the, the difference it does stand out um, but it's so much quicker you really eliminate a step when you do it that way so and I've cut out some backing fabric for that um, which was how big that's to do a placemat so what I'll probably do is just have a little caravan to say just a little caravan in the corner maybe there um, so the buttons there and that'll be flat on there and then I might even have a little place something like this just sitting flat like that along there somewhere you can put your tuck your knife and fork in um, and that it won't have this background it'll be just the caravan and then some of this fabric for the knife and fork like a little pocket and then you can put a plate on there so that'll be a matching matching little placemat so how big did I do this because I had a bit of this I had enough for um, maybe four background because I wanted to have it the same so 11 and a half by 9 um, you know you can do 12 by 9 too that was good but that was what I had left so I'm just using what I had so there you go how adorable are they so um, I probably will link in the bottom again the pattern um, to the, the caravan templates for the pay it forward that I had from um, yeah Lisa pay whereas mine was from my my the, the stitch kitsch book so I've got a few things I want to make in there I'd like to make this one too because as you can see I've got a lot of buttons so this might be one of my next projects that I probably make with you guys oh, I quite like these as well but yeah a bit of everything okay guys thank you very much I've really enjoyed doing this and I'll probably um, do a little bit more of this behind the scenes as Chrissy Prezzies and I will catch you um, a little bit later in my next video and I won't forget to to film my um, Christmas thing on the wall when that's done so I know some of you will probably want to see the finished product okay guys thank you very much and I'll catch you later thanks for watching I hope you go and make some yourself because they're rather cute okay bye